Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Cryptic Inc. and while it's technically day 25 of Inktober, I'm coming to you with a video of the stickers I did for day 16 of this monthly challenge. I think I've already harped on about how school um, affects my time, and I think it was a little crazy to assume I could film and edit an entire video every day for a month. But even though my videos haven't been a daily occurrence, I'm still trying and drawing every single day, which was my main goal for the challenge anyways. So if you're still on this journey with me, hello. I hope your Inktober drawings are going well. We're almost done, just six more days and we can call this thing finished. I won't do a whole review on how the challenge has been for me this month. Uh, we can save that for the last day of Inktober, but so far I'm learning what my limits are and also I've learned how far I can actually push myself on days where I'm feeling a little less motivated than others. It used to be that I'd easily give up and not draw anything for a long time, but now I feel I can dig deep and keep at it if I have to. With the drawing, that is. Uh, with videos, eh, not so much, but I'll get there. I think once a week is looking to be more realistic for me after this challenge. If I ever do a month-long challenge, I will be sure to prepare some videos in advance because, like I said, doing the YouTube things was three times the work, but it's been fun. Hard but fun. <laughs> so these stickers I did were a way for me to do something a little more lighthearted and enjoyable. I enjoy making random doodles on a sheet of paper and not having to worry about composition sometimes. It was a good way for me to try out something new, um, to try out some new ways of packaging stickers as well. I used it as a chance to make a prototype sticker pack and to try out some new sticker paper I brought at the beginning of the month. I really want to make the stuff in my shop look nicer and less like I make it out of a single room in my home, but I'll get there. I definitely need to work on taking better photos um, to post, but running an online shop is still a learning experience for me. If anything, I'll put them in a package as a treat with whatever originals and prints I may sell at the end of the month. I'd love some feedback and tips on the quality, if anything. If you think they look nice or could be improved, let me know. So here is the final inked page of doodles. After I formatted the scanned image on my computer, I printed these babies on sticker paper and cut them out. It took a couple tries because my printer was making them blue instead of black and white, which was weird, but eventually I figured it out by putting them in grayscale. Um, I got these little baggies for future stickers also earlier in the month and thought they would be perfect to put them in. I also printed labels to go on top to kind of tie it all together. So let me know what you think. I feel like a little black backboard in the pack might make it look better, but like I said, they're just an extra treat for end of the month shipping. Since they're an experiment, I want them to be free with purchase um, at the end of Inktober. So yeah. I hope you liked today's little video. I've got a lot of videos backed up that I still need to edit, but I'm excited to show you all what I've been working on. And if you've got any questions or topics you'd like me to discuss, please let me know in the comments because sometimes I just run out of things to talk about. Uh, it is what it is. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I'm playing catch up, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.